Hi, this is Rhonda Green, and we're going to go over uh, the next CFA4 or campaign finance form that you need to file as a candidate in Indiana. Um, and this is aimed mostly at local uh, candidates, uh, just local candidates, you know, county, city, if you have city, etc. Anyway, uh, right now we are on the Indiana.gov uh, Secretary of State website, okay, where you can get most of your good information in the forms that you need to file. And uh, right now the Election Commission, that's not really where you need to be, um, but where we're going to go to, we're going to go to the candidate information first so that you can get more information on what you need to file and how you need to file. And right here, this is, um, let me bring this up real quick. Um, that's this one right here. That's this website. Always look for in in.gov and uh, being right here in the first part of the link. Now, all of these links will be in the description. Okay. Uh, this is not really where you need to be, but these are, uh, I want to show you the election calendar brochure. And so, uh, this gives you, this was made, or this is made to be printed off and given to you when you first file as a candidate in Indiana. So this gives you, uh, you know, some basic timeline or calendar dates that you need to keep in mind uh, as a candidate so that you file the forms in a timely manner and kind of know what to look for and have time enough to, to gather it together. We're going to concentrate on the pre-election campaign form. And uh, the campaign finance uh, for this form, as a, as a Republican or Democrat, if you were on the primary ballot, okay, this reporting period will be between the the date that you filed uh, between the date that you filed for the pre-primary to the date that you filed or to uh, October 11th uh, 2024 okay if you are uh, if you were not on the ballot uh, the period that you're looking at is between the last CFA 4 filing that you had, uh, which libertarians have that, or uh, candidates that were put on the ballot through a convention or caucus process. Okay, so we're, we're just kind of letting that kind of lay there. And if you have a question, always ask your county clerk. So there. Anyway, so what right now we're talking about uh, the pre-primary and the uh, reporting period is uh, ends uh, Friday, October 11th. Okay, the form is due Friday at noon by noon um, on Friday the 18th of October, 2024. Okay, so we've got that there going to go back over here. So this is candidate information. You've already should have been on this or known about it or whatever. These are files. These are forms to file to, to go in as candidate. And what we're going to do is to go over to the campaign finance forms, okay, which uh, campaign finance manual. And here's another uh, handy copy that you can like download or should have been given to you. So this is more specifically towards uh, your deadlines for your campaign finance. All right, so uh, so that has all of those forms on there. And let me see if I have that written down. So this is the, the campaign finance link right here, and this is what it looks like. And yes, okay. Now, uh, here's the CFA4 is what you are looking for or looking at or what have you. The uh, uh, This is the form that turns in the, the information. Uh, how much money have you taken in from whom, if it's a large amount, if it's $100 or more, 
um, and how you spent your money on your campaign, right? So it all goes into, uh, it's, a, it's a form of uh, transparency, okay? And so uh, to get a copy of this and download it, um, uh, you can either do it in PDF form or Word form. But we're going to click on the PDF, and it downloads like this. And I already have, this, this is my uh, uh, file for my commissioner run, right? And so I'm just going to go, I already have this down. Okay. And there we go. And we're going to open. Eh. So here's what it looks like. Now, uh, the PDF form, especially if you're on a computer, you can go ahead and actually write into it. Um, and that's my committee. So we're just going to briefly go over this, you know, the information. Uh, just read it, pretty much. And it shows the, the period and date that you, you are reporting. Um, itemized uh, is down here on Schedule A, and the unitemized are the uh, the twenty bucks or five bucks or whatever you get uh, coming in, right? And so, but it has the instructions. You've got it here. This is what it looks like. And uh, what I want to do, because you can't really tell unless you copy the uh, uh, link and then put it in someplace else. Um, this is what the link looks like for the PDF, and this is what the link looks like uh, for the Word document. Okay, and these links will also be in the description, so you can look at them and uh, work over them. Okay, so that's just a rundown of where you can find the, the forms and, and basic information, and uh, uh, there you go. Um, this is Rhonda, uh, <laughs> Green for Commissioner. Uh, please don't shoot my dog. And thank you for listening.